table. I'm picking up a distress signal. Any signs of life? Nothing. Let's go in for a closer look. Hello and welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. Here we're looking at Grid Runner on the Sega Saturn. This is kind of reminding me of uh, that Schwarzenegger flick, uh, Running Man. Kind of something like that. It's an interesting game. So you, you get a little bit of a tutorial here in the beginning. Uh, you gotta grab the flags. There are certain power-ups and as you progress you unlock more power-ups and magic spells. Uh, so I found it effective. You spam the speed spell, and it does max out at one point. Uh, it does have a, a brief time period, so you uh, you got you can basically just spam it, and once you max cast, it won't let you cast it. Uh, so you just spam that button as you run around, go as fast as you can. And now this part, when I first did this, I died here because apparently you can summon a platform. Now, if you were paying attention when, during the tutorial, it says. You know, it tells you that you unlock these powers, and then, but it says, figure it out yourself. <laughs> so I thought that that was kind of interesting. Um, I do like that. You know, there's a, in today's gaming, there's a lot of hand-holding, and it almost comes to a point where it doesn't even make the games fun to play. Or they're so complex that it has to tell you every time you need to do anything, it has to bring up some kind of tutorial, because you're never going to remember the 9,000 commands that you have to remember. Like, um... A game, Darksiders, is kind of like that. Like, I really like that game, but it has so many just different things that if you were to kind of start stop playing it, you uh, you kind of forget where you are and what you're doing. You forget all the different moves you're supposed to have to do. So, you know, it has its advantages and disadvantages. While this game is not as complicated as that, uh, it, it is a pretty cool game, and you do get some variety. So, you get, I think, maybe five or six different spells. And the ones I found, there was, uh, you get like a shot, a, you get a speed burst, you get a platform thing, a little, something that looked like a landmine, and uh, towards the end I figured out this teleport spell. I mean, I didn't figure it out, I <laughs> accidentally did it, but it's available. So here is a bonus level. Uh, you run around, you collect all these orbs. Uh, it, after this screen here, I will show you... Um, something I found very unique to this game because not a lot of games like this have have an offer or offer what this offers. So here we'll check that out as soon as I grab this last ball. And that red meter on the side is your magic meter. So the amount of spells you can cast. So this was pretty cool. You get uh, buffs. So by by doing well in the levels and doing well in the bonus levels, you can actually increase your character's stats. So in a game like this, that's pretty ra pretty rare. Uh, it looks like you could get a password and you can do different saves on the battery or if you have a lucky enough to have a RAM cart, which I highly recommend for the Sega Saturn because uh, the battery does, the internal save battery on the Saturn does eventually stop working. So you do lose all your files every 10 years or however long those batteries last. If you're using it all the time, probably way less than 10 years. But I think mine lasted about 10 years and then I actually didn't know why my games weren't saving. Um, it was an easy fix. And so there's that. 
Uh, this is where the game starts to get a little bit more complex. Uh, this bull guy you saw there at the beginning, he's a, he's a lot more aggressive. Uh, he's faster, and he really gets after you. So uh, I really only played for the first couple levels here just to get an idea. This is a two-player game as well, so uh, realistically I want to play this, get together with EZ. Uh, maybe it'll be a lot more fun that way. It was pretty cool, single player, um, but I could see where the value lies in this game doing it two players. Now, whether you can do two players together to beat the computer, I am assuming it's more of a uh, versus kind of two-player game, but you never know. So in a style of uh, Gauntlet, kind of feels like a little bit, but not you know no violence kind of thing really, and you're just racing and not not really trying to hurt anybody. So, uh, maybe that's what they were trying with this one, a little bit more kid-friendly version of one of those style games. Feels arcade-like, and it was just a good time. It really was. It, was, it wasn't too stressful. Uh, I dig that underneath. I don't even know if you would call that background. Oh, see, that's their teleport spell. You lose! Yeah, I wouldn't even know if you would call that background, because it's like underneath. It's underneath ground. <laughs> But well, yeah, there's a look at Grid Runner on the Sega Saturn. As you can see there, that two-player option I was talking about, I didn't have a second controller plugged in, so I figured I would leave that best to myself and EZ to get down on that and check it out. All right, guys, ch check out these jams here for the last little bit. And thanks for watching Brothers Forge Gaming.